Are you thinking about relocating to Vancouver Island? You want to know the absolute best area to target? Come with me. I'm going to show you the Goldilocks zone here in Nanaimo. This is where all the best neighborhoods surround one park. Now, before we get started, if you have a second, give us a like or subscribe. It lets us know what we're doing, you like, and you want to see more of it. Now, without any further ado, let's check out this Goldilocks zone. Sorry, waving the people on the trail. To understand what the Goldilocks zone is, we got to break down three different areas in Nanaimo. The first being the north of Nanaimo, which is very beautiful. However, it's getting a little bit old and a little bit congested. See, most of the homes that were built there were built back in the 90s, so they're starting to show their age. And further to that, the north of Nanaimo was built on what's called high bank waterfront, meaning that to get down to the expansive sandy beaches below in the north of Nanaimo, we're talking about going down like 14 stories of stairs to get to this park space. So it's not my absolute favorite, though it is quite beautiful up there. The second area is called the south of Nanaimo, and the south of Nanaimo has seen vast improvements over the last couple years, with brand new subdivisions, amazing roadwork projects which are introducing bike lanes, and some of the best municipal facilities for you to enjoy with your family. However, downtown we're still seeing a lot of crime issues, so when I'm looking into different neighborhoods to choose, I'm rarely ever picking the south of Nanaimo. Now this leaves us with the third zone, which is in central Nanaimo, and where you're going to find one of the largest expanses of green space possible in the center of the city. It's called Lindley Valley, and some of the very best neighborhoods surround this beautiful park. Now this is what I like to call the Goldilocks zone, because it's not too far north, it's not too far south, it's in the center, and it's absolutely perfect. Some of my favorite neighborhoods that back directly into Lindley Valley are places like Oak Ridge, Lindley Point, Sunshine Ridge, and Rock City. These neighborhoods back directly onto over 400 acres of green space, and you're gonna find expansive wetlands, lakes, creeks, and amazing bluffs to climb, and some of the very best trails that you're gonna find here in Nanaimo, British Columbia. The homes that are built here are built in the classic West Coast custom style that we're so well known for here on Vancouver Island. And if you want to go shopping, we're only talking about a five minute drive to the north to go to Costco. And if you want to go downtown for a delicious meal, five minute drive to go downtown to eat at a place like The Nest. I, I love The Nest. And this is what makes this area so terrific. It's centrally located, giving you the best of both worlds. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Lindley Valley and you want to know the different areas to explore, I've included a link down below to Trail Forks, which is an excellent repository of different hiking and biking trails. Now, if you want to know where I like to go, here's a few examples. Lookout Point is a phenomenal short hike that'll take only a couple minutes. And to get there, you just drive to the very end of Cascara Drive. This will be the beginning of a short little hike, a well-maintained trail. And when you get to the top, you're gonna get a beautiful view of a nice new subdivision called Lindley Point. And over on the other side, you're gonna get an expansive view of the Georgia Strait and the Winchelsea Islands, which is totally worth it during sunrise. The second one is called Cottle Hill, and Cottle Hill is a great hike that's commonly referred to as going up to the antennas because there's antennas at the very top of it. Now, to get there, you drive to the very end of Lindley Valley Drive. Once you're there, hop out of your car, and you have two different options to get to the top. First, you can take this gravel road that leads all the way up to the top that is used by service vehicles to work on the antennas. And the second is my favorite, where you follow the rocky bluffs all the way to the top over these moss-covered stones which are slippery by the way, to get to the very top and see one of the best 360 degree views of Vancouver Island. Lost Lake is a beautiful reservoir found right off of Lost Lake Road. And from there, you're gonna find a small little parking lot and a great trail that leads you all the way around the exterior. This is a perfect place to go and do some bird watching from the multiple different deck places they've put for you to sit, relax, and enjoy the green space. Cottle Lake is a beautiful lake found right in the heart of Lindley Valley. 
and to get there you're gonna go down Rock City Road to a small little parking lot. Once you get to the bottom it's gonna open up into a beautiful pasture and at the bottom of this pasture is these wetlands we call Cottle Lake. Now this is the beginning of Cottle Creek which is actually just right behind me. I hope you get to live the island life soon and if you want to learn more about doing so I'd definitely check out this link right up here.